is a special production coming to the Straz, and it's right there, The Last Waltz. And uh, we have two very special guests joining us uh, this morning, and there's a lot to pack in here, but we're going to start with this great production. And uh, Sean is going to tell us about this. Again, it's one night only uh, at the Straz. Tell us about this show, Sean. We're going to start with you, and then again, uh, Tom, we'll, we'll welcome you in here in just a second to talk about kind of the fundraising aspect and, and kind of the team behind this that's putting it on that's really helping to to, to benefit performers and in the business. Um, yeah, so years ago, I had an idea we did at Tom's venue, Crowbar in Ybor City, about six years ago. I did a thing where we would show a movie and then have bands play the soundtrack for the movie afterwards. And uh, we did The Last Waltz. It got really popular. Uh, it sold out. Um, we got asked to do it again at the Palladium in St. Pete three years ago for a fundraiser for the Holocaust Museum. And um, so coming out of the pandemic, we were talking about it, and I just thought... Um, It'd be great to do it again. And we have 23 musicians from originally all over Florida. A few now have moved and play in like Seattle, Kansas City, but they're flying in to play. And um, we decided to do it. And we thought, you know, Neva would be a great organization to raise funds for because they've done so much to help keep venues alive and keep live music alive that, you know, we'd like to give a little back to them. Yeah, we're going to talk about Neva here in just a second. But what can people expect, Sean, for this show? Uh, well, I mean, um, we recreate the um, the the documentary was done by Martin Scorsese. It was the band's final concert. Uh, it was in 1976, and we create the documentary um, song for song. Uh, Have Gun Will Travel, a really popular band. Uh, they play yes. the band, and um, then we have just a bunch of guests come out, like during the original the movie itself, Eric Clapton, Muddy Waters, Bob Dylan, all these different people come out. So we have our versions of it uh, and they come out and play together. And it's a great, it's a great time. Uh, it it's sounds just, yeah. amazing. Yeah, yes. And what a off stage and, you know, it's a big production. It's a lot of fun. Well, and Tom, what a great, uh, I think, production and way to talk about Neva and, and have this kind of partnership. Explain what Neva is and, and what the goal is here, because you guys have really, um, I know that the, the production and acting, I mean, it's been a year and a half that I think no one really expected. And I think we're still trying to claw our way out of it. Well, the National Independent Venue Association was formed in March of 2020. And what we did was we got independent venue owners all around the country to become lobbyists and advocates. And we were able to get the largest entertainment bill in U.S. history passed, which was close to $17 billion. Um, with that funding, that federal funding, over 12,000 venues around the country were funded, 651 right here in the state of Florida. And I was um, on that advocacy committee and I was the captain for our state. Um, to go forward, um, Aside from membership, obviously the association needs money and there's other things we want to do, not only to um, protect our industry, but to see it thrive and see it reimagined and, yeah. and just see it do well. So, the, you know, stuff like this, having events that can raise money for NEVA um, is extremely important uh, here in the state of Florida. So we're very thankful for Sean and all the artists that are taking place. Um, I think it's going to be a great event. It's It was great the first two times. I think it's going to be even more special um, when it comes up this time around. Well, and especially when there is this opportunity, I think, to help Neva. And again, every single business, every single one had to rethink and reshape, you know, kind of what the future looks like. I know it's no different uh, for you guys as well. So again, though, uh, one night only, um, but you know, what a great deal uh, on tickets, though, and again, to, to help a good cause. Gentlemen, thank you so much. We've been showing the StrasCenter.org. I know their website is probably the, the best place to maybe start. Yeah, they have tickets for sale through the Stras on that website. So definitely, okay. if you put in last waltz, they'll have it. Yeah, sounds good. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. Keep us posted and updated, okay? Uh -huh.